Hi, hello, this is Anup here, and in this video, we are going to see how to upgrade SCM 1806 to 1810. Microsoft has released 1810 version. I have not got the update yet, but if I look at my site, site systems. I have service connection point so if I open up service connection point you can see that it is online that means uh, I will get the updates automatically on my server so if your version is offline this one then you may need to go through another process I mentioned over here let's go back and check what is the version I have at the moment it's 1806 so there are two types of releases of uh, 1810 one is fast ring the first version is fast ring and the second version is slow ring so when i say fast ring it is something like you need to op you may need to run a powershell script to get the updates otherwise you won't get it after fast ring microsoft will release a slow ring so that is a wider release and if you are having a service connection point online service connection point then your SCM environment will automatically get it in that case in the slow ring you don't need to run any powershell script to opt-in opt-in version is fast ring i would recommend do the opt-in version in your a development environment or pre product environment if, if you ask me I won't install fast string version in my production environment if let's wait for update to come into my console then we will proceed with the upgradation process so before the upgradation we need to make sure we are having the latest version of SQL cumulative update of the SQL the, all the other prerequisites as per Microsoft documentation is already in place for your environment let's check what is happening at the moment on the server the best option is to check the dmp downloader log uh, i can see that there is something happening in in the log and uh, it's downloading it is using bits to download it so let's check it out what had happened so it's getting the package details okay let's go into the console and give a refresh so now you can see this is getting downloaded 1810 version is getting downloaded let's check what is the status of the download so as you can see payload is got downloaded payload got downloaded and it's extracting the content and you see can as you can see over here it's successfully extracted successfully extracted the content let's check out what is happening next you need to download prerequisite files so prerequisite files successfully downloaded over here see successfully downloaded the redist files for this version 1810 version so that means it is successfully downloaded after that it deleted the payload so let's see console what is happening let's give a refresh it says ready to install now i want to show you the monitoring console over here let's click on store status and it will take you to the monitoring workspace if you click on show status as you can see over here show status you can see what are the processes completed as you can see over here there are five steps in downloading one is process update package download update package cap file extract update package payload download redist report package as downloaded and you can see the log files which you want to refer over here hman and uh, dmp downloaded log so this is very useful information now what we can do is uh, we can go back to administrator now i would recommend to run the prerequisite check for 1810 before you run the upgrade task directly that will help you to replicate the package if you have hierarchy SSCM hierarchy and if you have primary servers i would recommend you to run the prerequisite check well before the actual upgrade timeline let's check what is happening fresh the replication part is completed create or update software distribution package that you can see in hman log 
content library that you can see in distmgr.log let's check what has happened in distmgr.log so this is distmgr.log and as you can see the update package is created successfully created pr3 is my site code and 00006 so that has been created now it will go to the next step that is extracting the update package the extracting of update package is happening and that you can check in a up cm update log extracting the package so this is what happening in cm update dot log deleting the folder extracting the content from content library okay so that is what happening over here so it is going to take time okay, as you can see the prerequisite checks is completed now let me refresh it's completed with some warning sql server native client version tls 1.2 support is required so i check on this box and it is 2012 native you need to make sure that how to enable this tls 1.2 but it's just a warning probably you can proceed with with this warning proceed with the update or upgrade proceed with the upgrade no issues with that and the second warning i got is the site database has some backlog that is fine this is my lab environments that is fine if you are uh, doing it on production environment and getting some similar kind of error then you should look into the sql box before proceeding let's understand whether there is any problem in sql backlog or sql based replication or something so all the other prerequisites checks are completed successfully for me as i mentioned before extract update package is completed after that step only it went to start the prerequisite prerequisite check let's close this and let's go back to administration so in a production version you need to go through all the microsoft documentation to ensure that you are going through all the prerequisite checks and you are ensuring that all the best practices are followed so once you ensure that you can right click on the update and you can do install update pack okay, as i have shown here install update pack you need to go through the wizard this is sms provider api this is the new one okay this is nice features api access over https is given upgrade without validation and upgrade in pre-production collection so normally in production i would recommend to do this and select the test collection let's see accept next okay configuration manager updates wizard completed now you can click on close button and that will start the prerequisite checks again so that is going to take some time we'll take a break and come back let's check what is happening in the console as you can see this is getting installed the update is getting installed it completed the prerequisite check and we have opted for ignoring the warnings and proceeding with the installation what is happening in the monitoring show status download completed replication completed prerequisite checks completed installation is going on many things completed in the installation stage this was completed before itself it went through it again look at the timestamp now it's going to update the database so you can check the cm update dot log and i would recommend to open up this log file to track the track the update process it's just started the database upgrade process so it's importing the data to table it's going to take time depending upon your database size and the performance of the server let's go back and check what is happening so if i go to the cm update dot log i can see the the hash file check is going on it is validating the files folders and files are being validated if i go back and check it is adding the files sql connection got successful sql connection succeeded okay so these are happening update status post installation monitoring it's completed the installation it successfully completed the installation let's go back to console and check the status Try to refresh completed the installation post installation completed with some warnings so let's go back it shows us 18.10 got installed it's 5.00874010000 
okay and client version is 5.0087401003 let's update the console it's asking for the update of the console as you can see the console version is 5.1810107513000 that is the latest console version let's install the console the installation is started let's give some time to complete the installation i think console got installed successfully let's launch it so the console got launched you can see 1810 version here and if i go to features you can see 22 features are there and out of that four are pre-release features only one i can see as a new one that is sms provider api and if i quickly go to the interesting part management insights so this is available in 1810 as i mentioned in my previous management insight video post there is one new group over here that is mac os and and uniques so if i click on that you can see see that this rule is for listing down the mac os and linux clients in your environment this is related to the recent skip announcement which microsoft made endpoint protection support for mac os and linux is going to end soon let's see the console version this is the console version 5.1810 one zero seven five one three zero zero so this is the 1810 version fast ring so if you are installing the slow ring of 1810 version maybe the version the console version and client version the versions over here may differ if you are not using the fast ring version of SSCM 1810 then your console version and full version along with client version will change these are the versions for the fast ring of a first version of production release I will cover the feature reviews in the next video if you like my video please click on like button and share it please subscribe my youtube channel and click on bell button to get the notification about the new videos thank you bye bye